Hi friends, welcome back to All on Unlaw. Guys, this is a medical video lecture. Microbiology. And today's topic of discussion is an important bacteria that's Bacillus cereus. And this is a really very important topic for your family step on examination and for medical students, first year medical students also second year medical students sorry <laughs> okay guys so let me quickly start a discussion on this and i'm going to discuss only important points related to usmle examination so before starting a discussion on this i would request you to subscribe to our channel currently our channel has more than 600 medical video lectures okay so please do subscribe and do share our videos with your friends so let's start about the bacillus serious so tell me i'm gonna ask you whether it's a gram positive or a gram negative this is the basic question you should know it's a gram yes tell me it's a gram positive remember it's a gram positive and it's a aerobic it requires oxygen okay and it's a spore forming bacteria spore forming Okay, spore forming bacteria. So these three important points gram positive, aerobic, and spore forming bacteria. Okay. So the important thing about the bacillus series for USML step on examinations, you have to remember in the clinical history or in the clinical vignette or clinical scenario case scenario, look at the Chinese restaurant fried rice. If you find anything like that in the case history, then definitely they are asking you which of the following could be the organism or the bacteria responsible for his clinical symptoms in the form of vomiting or a diarrhea. So just think of bacillus cereus. Okay. So that is the important catching point over here. It causes a rapid onset gastroenteritis. Okay. So is found in the nature and the very important point is fried rice in Chinese restaurant okay guys so transmission is by foodborne okay and the Chinese restaurant you know and it's also associated with the food kept warm food kept kept warm okay not the hot one okay like buffet so try to remember this and the what's the pathogenesis it produces two toxins okay remember one is emetic toxin and second one is diarrheal toxin Emetic toxin name itself indicates it causes vomiting and it can cause diarrhea also. But remember about the timing, it starts from within 1 to 6 hours. 1 to 6 hours. Remember, it's similar to what you call staph arrows. Okay. But what you need to look if you want to differentiate whether it's a staph arrows, um, vomiting and disease, or it's due to the what you call bacillus cereus. Look at the important feature that's a fried rice in the case history. That's really very important. Okay, so diarrheal toxin that occurs in 18 hours. hours okay, it's similar to what you call E. coli and produces uh, what you call um, heat labile toxin, LT, that's known as LT, right? And that is nothing but a 
cyclic AMP inducer okay cyclic AMP inducer in recent video we uploaded a video on uh, cyclic AMP inducers bacteria okay so try to watch that video in our channel and that's really very helpful for your USML examination so pathogenesis it presents two types of toxin one is the emetic and the diarrheal toxin okay guys so what are the diseases that it can produce is gastroenteritis okay non bloody vomiting diarrhea non bloody diarrhea okay so how would you treat it it's a self limiting remember self limiting self limiting okay that's it okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much please do subscribe to our video and please thumb up thank you so much take care